This is the last movie I ever expected to have a connection to Monster Hunter. Which is, um, you know, I'm just gonna make that with that, make with that what you will. Hi everyone. Ugh, can't, ugh, words. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? Hi everyone. It's me, Grant, the movie and TV guy. Welcome to Raised on Popcorn with Grant, everybody. We're here to talk about another movie. That's right, we're, their crazy train is still rolling we're all weekend long. Um, we will be reviewing another movie tomorrow and the day after. But in the meantime, we're going to review a movie. A movie that has taken a couple weeks to get to us, but finally did. And I'm very, very happy it did. And that movie is Tar. Uh, Tar is directed by Todd Field. It is his first film in 16 years. His last... It's his third feature film as a director. His first was 2001's In the Bedroom, and his second was 2006's Little Children, both of which were terrific. Um, and with this film, I think he might have made his best film yet. So what is Tar about? Well, um, well, first off, who? what does the title mean? Well, it refers to Lydia Tar. She is played by the great Kate Blanchett in career best work. Um, she is um, a composer who is trying to... Um, do uh, perform Mueller's Fifth Symphony. Um, she's very intense, um, very cold, very calculating. Um, and at first we think, okay, she's just uh, very professional. We kind of, kind of jump in on her life as it's in a moment of downturn. Why is it in a moment of downturn? Well, um, you see, Lydia um, has sort of this really bad habit of taking these young would-be musicians in her band, under her wing, using them for sex, and then, um, discarding them, and, um, basically coercing them into having sexual relationships, and then gets rid of them, um, and cuts them from the band. This comes back to bite her, um, after an article is posted in, um, a magazine claiming that, um, Featuring multiple allegations, including one such allegation from a former pupil who has taken her own life. Um, and now, Lydia's life is in a downturn, um, including her marriage and uh, her relationship with her adoptive daughter, um, her marriage to her wife, um, her relationship with um, her another colleague of hers played... Um, in the film by, um, look at this actually, she's from, uh, Portrait of a Lady on Fire, um, one second, I want to make sure I get her name right, she was really phenomenal in this too, come on, oh, son of a bitch, hold on, sorry, Nomi Merlant. Okay, Nomi Merlant. Great in this. Um, dealing with her and her uh, particular, their issues with each other, and all of it soon um, takes this um, once great conductor from top of the world to the bottom of the heap. And this is kind of the, the very, very long, um, very slow descent. Um, and that seems like a spoiler, but it's really not, because... This movie's not really a movie about plot. Um, yeah, that that's the that's synopsis. It's about mood, it's about this character, and um I'm gonna say this to you guys. I know when I describe this plot to you, you're gonna be like, Oh, this does not sound like the movie for me. And it very well may not be the movie for you. Um, mainstream audiences in particular, I think, will hate this film. I love Tar. I loved this movie. In fact, I will go so far as to say this will probably be somewhere in my top ten of the entire year. It's that great. Um, I wouldn't even be surprised if it was in like a top, you know, hundred of the decade at decades end. It's that good. Um, this is an amazing movie. Um, it's almost, it's really long. It's almost three hours to so buckle up. Um, but Kate Blanchett is so phenomenal in this movie. And just this ferocity, which there's a, there's these scenes that go on forever, but are just fascinating, where she's talking to someone, and it's, it's, she owns the room, like, there's a scene early on where she's sort of dressing down a student, um, and you hate what she's saying to the student, it's really sickening, but the camera won't, you can't look away from her. 
And you also can't look away from this young gentleman whose leg is, like, shaking because he's nervous and they kind of keep play that as almost a running gag in that scene um, for tension building. Um, there's another scene where she's being interviewed with um, a, a, by a reporter that goes on for a while where she's very, very, very... You can already... This is, like, kind of her introduction to her. Very pretentious kind of character. Um... But then we just, it just kind of keeps, it's a bunch of scenes that do eventually coalesce into something. It's not really a plot, but it's just kind of watching this character at this point in our life, like I said, that's in a downturn. Um, and that's kind of slow descent. Leading to one of the best endings, if not the best ending of the year, which genuinely was ironic and funny and brilliant and perfect sort of final sort of period, you know, full stop on this movie. Stylistic choices I absolutely love from Todd Field in this. Um, for one, a majority of the end credits are played at the beginning of the movie. And only and when the end credits do arrive, they're only like half the length of the average end credits because a lot of them showed up at the beginning. Kind of almost in reverse order. I know that was a very interesting choice. Um, it lost some people in my theater, clearly. Um, and yeah, Kate Blanchett. Can we talk about Kate Blanchett for a second? Is there anything this woman cannot do? Is there any role that this woman cannot play? She's excellent. And in a career of excellent performances. Lydia Tarr might be her best. I really mean it. This might be her best performance. She is just, just cold and calculating and emotional. And everything you could want in this kind of character. Who is not a likable character. But is a fascinating character. She's not a good person. And she's doing really bad things to people. But you come... To, Field does a really good job of making her known to us. Not liked by us. Not necessarily sympathetic by us. But known by us. This is a terrific film. And there's nothing more that needs to be said. You see it. Bang. Five out of five stars plus. Yeah. Bang. Plus. Five out of five stars plus for Tar. All caps with the, the accent mark. I fucking love this movie, guys. I love this movie. This is one of the very best films of the year. Grant, like something that isn't, you know, artsy-fartsy. Like, that. I like the kind of thing. You can like what you like, it's fine. Um, I like regular, I like regular movies, too. Um, all right. So that is it. Uh, five out of five stars plus for Tar. Let's close the book on it. Uh, trailer trash. Let's talk some trailer trash. The Sun. This is looks really good. It looks like a sort of spiritual successor to um, The Father. It's directed by the same man, Florian Zeller. Um, it's a great cast. It's like Hugh Jackman and Vanessa Kirby and um, uh, Anthony Hopkins, of course. And then the kid in it, for a second I was like, is that David from Dark Shadows? Is that Gulliver McGrath? And I looked up and I'm like, no it isn't. It's actually his brother, uh, Zen McGrath. And I'm like, oh, okay. Because I had to look it up. I'm like, who, who, the, who plays the son in the son? And um, so I was like, oh my god, it's, is it, is it looks just like him. I'm like, is that David from the Dark Shadows? Um, slash Tad Lincoln from Lincoln. Um, anyway. So yeah, that looks really good. Um. Empire of Light, we talked about it, looks really good. Um, I Want to Dance with Somebody, looks good, talked about it a bunch. Babylon, looks good, talked about it a bunch. She Said, looks good, my friend helped make it. I'm excited for it, talked about it a bunch though. Black Panther of kind of Forever, we were seeing it in two weeks, I'm really excited. Spoiler alert, we talked about this a couple times, this looks really heartbreaking and great, and I like that Jim Parsons is going to do kind of a different kind of movie, I like it. Um, and then Armageddon Time, um... This looks really good. It opened in limited release this weekend. I think it might be going wide next weekend. If it is, we'll definitely be seeing it. Um, looks really good. Um, and was there shawarma? No, there was not. Um, but there was a slightly shorter run credits because of what happened here. Um, I almost honestly, after that, was kind of expecting it to just be the movie ends and then it just cuts to focus features and then it, the lights came up because I thought that they actually did all the, the closing credits. Um... It's like a long sequence. Um, anyway. So yeah, that's it um, for today. We will be back tomorrow for a review of Run, Sweetheart Run. We will also review Monday for Wendell and Wild. That'll be on Halloween Day. Uh, we will also have 
Uh, not on my channel, but on Ryan Conway, RWR Movie Reviews channel, we're doing a Tuesday night hangout, uh, 6 o'clock central time. Come check out, check out us out and join the fun. Um, and then next week we'll have One Piece Film Red, uh, Nola Holmes, probably others. Um, all Quiet on the Western Front we'll, we'll do sometime this week also. Um, we'll also have reviews um, coming up for Black Panther Wakanda Forever, The Menu, um, she said, um, and Glass Onion and Knives Out Mystery, and many, 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 many more. Um, Disenchanted. Uh, that'll all be next time, and until next time, I'm Grant the Movie and TV Guy. I see it all, I'm happy to share it with you. I love you all, I appreciate you all. Uh, I love you all classes missed, I love you 3000, be kind to one another. If you like this video, give it a like if you wanna, give it a subscribe if you wanna, give it the bell, I don't know what it does, if that's supposed to do, or so I've been told. If you wanna find me elsewhere, reviews, lists, and other fun stuff, you can check me out on letterbox.com at Raisin Popcorn with Grant, uh, Facebook, Raisin Popcorn with Grant, uh, Twitter, I am at Raised Grant. Um, uh, serialized, I am all one word, all lowercase, Raised on Popcorn. Uh, you can also check out my podcast, Raised on Popcorn Grant, the podcast on Spotify and Anchor. Some of you already have. Oh, also, leave a comment, even if it's, hey Grant, I like waffles, it really helps out. Um, some of you already have, but even if you haven't, take care of yourself, take care of your mental health, it's incredibly important. Now, I want to know down below, what did you think of Tar? Did you like the movie? Did you hate the movie? Think my opinion's good? Think you're full of shit? Comment below, let me know. And until we meet again, we're all raised on popcorn. Make mine with extra butter. Catch you guys next time. Take care. Have a good night.